Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm going to be talking about sketch bags, particularly what I've been putting in my sketch bag recently. Things kind of evolve over time and I've done videos like this in the past, but they're usually for my travels. And when I'm traveling, I'm packing a ton of stuff into a bag that's going to be traveling with me. When I go out sketching or plein air painting, most of that stuff is removed and I just take a small amount with me. Um, so today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that I pack sketch bags. I have a larger one that I pack for um, painting on like a plein air trip or something. I can keep it in my car, take out what I need, or I can uh, carry it over my shoulder and use it as my desk, so to speak. Also, I have another bag that I use. I thought I had it out here, but I don't um, because I did this video a few weeks ago. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you both, both options and when I use which one. Like uh, my smaller one, I would use like if I was going to a doctor's office and had to sit for a long time or was having a procedure done or, and had to sit for an hour. Sometimes I have to go into the hospital to have IVs and... Um, due to my illness and when I do that I'm there for about two hours for the entire process so I take a small sketchbook and my supplies just small supplies and maybe a water brush and that's all I take with me so I'm going to show you both options and with um, Inktober fast approaching, I figured that this would be a good time to put this video out there. And reminder, Inktober starts on October 1st. I will be explaining Inktober if you're new to my channel and new to what Inktober is and how we kind of celebrate the month together on my channel. So stay tuned for that. But let's get going on the sketch bag um, setup that I use guys today I wanted to talk to you about carrying a small sketch bag with you wherever you go um, I just have this plastic um, bag it's a zipper pouch that I got on Amazon they come in all sorts of patterns this one was by blue Q um, but I liked this one because I have a green bicycle and it has a basket on it so kind of reminded my husband and I of my bike and I've even got the carrier on the back so anyway um, I decided to get this but uh, for this this size bag which is nine and a half across or just under nine and a half across by seven and a half high uh, I can fit everything I need for sketching in this bag no problem and I'll show you how I do it uh, first of all first of all you can even carry get your sketch notebook in your bag as long as you're not carrying one that's too large this one is just three and a half by five and a half this is a Stillman and Burn I got it at Hobby Lobby you can usually pick them up there um, and I sketched in it a little bit over the weekend I had some old sketches in here but um, I thought oh, I'm gonna try sketching in a small book I normally sketch in larger books but I thought I'm gonna take this and this is all I did <laughs> use this weekend I just did a few sketches um, I wasn't feeling well so I got very little done but um, some some days are just like that but anyway I can fit this in here no problem I'm gonna show you everything that I can fit into this bag and have absolutely everything I need with me to do all my sketching um, there's my sketch book I have this little palette of paints which is double-sided I got it on Etsy uh, somebody uh, gave it to me at discount for a review on my channel about two years ago so I um, reviewed it and at the time I really liked it but I was just using it here at my desk and I didn't realize that these mixing palettes don't aren't conducive to mixing different colors if they're on opposite sides of the mixing tray um, because you spill the paint you have to grab from one side and be thinking about that and then mix it on the other side and grab your paint from the other side and if you need more then you got to flip back and then you've dripped your paint and it's just not a real great mixing area so I don't normally use it for that um, I usually just mix in my book and that's fine um, so, and I made myself a little chart that fits on here barely. 
Uh, so I have that. And I have a pencil and eraser. Normally I carry a few pastels with me just in case I want to do some highlighting or something at the end of a painting. I don't always use these, just occasionally. So I, that's not really necessary to take with me, but I'm going to show you that I can. And I have my pencil in here and a pen. I'm going to switch out my blue one for a black one. Um, and I'll just keep all those in there. So I've got all this. I've got my eraser, which is a big eraser. Um, it's a retractable eraser. It'll fit any rectangular eraser in it. You can get these on Amazon. They're really great. They're by Maped, M-A-P-E-D. And this is a plastic eraser, so it's nice, um, a nice eraser for using on watercolor paper. Uh, also, or you could fit one of those little square, um, the little gummy erasers. The Faber-Castell comes in a little little bitty thing like this that those are nice too um but i take a couple kleenex or a paper towel or something else along a spray bottle this just came from a um thing for putting a cover on a phone you know um you spray on the liquid glass covers so i kept this and i put water in it and so i have a little bottle um now some people prefer to use travel brushes or water brushes. I'm not really into water brushes, but I can take them along. But normally I prefer to use um, regular brushes and a water bottle. Uh, also a fountain pen, if I want to use fountain pen. So I'll have that along with me. And that's pretty much everything that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and pack it all in here. Start with my biggest item first. And just toss that in my bag. Put in my book. My Kleenex, my watercolor palette, my eraser, my spray bottle, and my water brushes and pen. And everything fits in there nice and easy, and I'm all set to go. Now, if I want to take something other than my water brushes, I can take my travel brushes. I have three here. There's an eight, a six, and a two. These are by Silver. They're the black velvet brushes. Um, this is their Voyage series. The only problem is with these is that their writing wears off the outside very quickly. I can usually tell by feel which is my, which is my biggest brush. This is my biggest brush. Yeah, that's my eight. And then I have a six and a two. This is my six, and this is my two. And I can just tell by how heavy they are. Um, but anyway, let me put these caps on here. I'm a little shaky today. Ugh. There we go. And I can stick them right in my bag here. And then you need to carry water with you, right? Something to rinse your brushes with? Well, a small pill vial will work. Just one of these little bitty pill vials. You don't need a lot of water when you're out sketching anyway. If you have a Kleenex or something with you, just wipe it off nice and good before you put it, dip it into your water. And you're not going to dirty your water up as fast. Um, and if your water does get dirty, you still have your water spray bottle that you can spray on your paper if you need to wet your paper down. You don't need to do it with a brush. You could spray your water on your paper and then spread it with your clean brush and you're fine. So this should last you just fine. Um, you'd be surprised what you can get away with, how little water you need when you're out and about. And then just stick that in there and you're all set to go. Zip it shut. And I usually like to keep it on, a, on an end though, like this, so that it stands upright. And you're all set to go. Now, if you're worried about leaking, just put it in a Ziploc baggie. And if it dribbles a little bit, you're not going to have a mess in your bag. But um, that's all you need. And you're all set to go sketching for the day. Nice and easy. Now, my bigger sketch bag, the other one that I take, um, is kind of what I use as a purse slash sketching bag. And I can take my bigger stuff along with me, but I want to grab my travel brushes out of there. Let me grab. Here's my bigger bag. 
um, and it's kind of a medium sized bag. It's called Plam Bag, P L A M B A G. It's got lots of zipper pouches on it, uh, and it's really nice to have. I put my water on the side. If I want to sketch standing up, I can stand up, and it's right there, and I can dip right into my bag. I got that idea from Ann Lore from Following the White Rabbit. But anyway, this carries a lot of nice things very easily. On the inside here is another zipper pouch, and this is where I carry all my pens and everything. Um, I have several different color pens that I usually take with me. Um, I have pencils. I have a red one and a black one. I have something to clean my glasses with, a white pen, I have a ruler if I need it, an eraser, um, I have a pencil sharpener if I need a pencil sharpener. I've got clips down here for my my um, sketch bag or whatever. A small water bottle. Actually, I have two sizes in here, which is unnecessary. There's another one in my water bottle here, too that I use when I'm traveling, but when I have water in here, obviously I don't have my water bottle in there. So, um, so, and I carry my travel brushes in here as well. And I just put them in here like this and they're all set to go. Um, then if I need anything, I can have this over my shoulder. It's a crossbody bag, so I can have it up over my neck, over my cross shoulder, and then down across my body and have everything right there. I can clip my keys on to here so that I don't lose my car keys when I'm out sketching. Uh, for plein air painting, this is really nice. Then in the center, I would carry my palette. Here I have my aluminum palette, which also does fit in my small sketch bag, by the way. If I want to take this along, I can fit that in this bag. The only thing is, is then I can't fit a sketchbook and the pastels. I have to choose one or the other. But anyway, for this, I have my aluminum palette, which I really love, although I would love to be able to magnetize it down. So I'm thinking of getting a couple pieces of stainless steel to, to put on my aluminum palette. I like the aluminum, though, because the inside does not rust. So it makes it keeps it really nice. I'm sorry, this is so dirty. That's really the, I usually clean them before I put them away, but I just stick that in my bag. This has a couple zipper pockets inside. I have some tape in here if I want to tape it tape my um, edges down. I've got a rag. I also have paper towel if I want to use paper towel instead. Um, you can carry water brushes along with you if you'd like. Uh, I prefer not to. Masking fluid that I can stick in here. Um, and then in the back I can put my um, sketch sketchbook wherever I put it. Where did I put it? Oh, I have my eight and a half by 11 here. Now this one fits very tightly. I don't know if it'll fit in this back thing. No, it doesn't. I'd have to fit it in here. And I don't think this zip shut completely. So no, it doesn't. So I would just have to carry it like that. And um, otherwise I could just carry, carry a small eight and a half, five by eight and a half book, one of these sizes. Um, these fit well, and these are great for going out and sketching um, nice size paintings. You can do double spreads if you want, whatever. And I can fit that in there, no problem. I can also fit my iPad in the back if I want to take my iPad along with me. My telephone, sunglasses. I've got bug spray on the side here, which goes with me everywhere. Um, and that's pretty much everything I need. So either way, you can have the big bag or you can go with the small bag and carry everything you need for a day of sketching. So I hope this helps you guys. Everybody have a great day. Remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Bye-bye.